Okay, just want to show you the comparison between two brand new panels and an older panel, a nine-year-old panel, which I had bought these two new ones to replace that old nine-year-old one, still kind of working, but I wanted to up my power supply. So I bought these two rich, rich solar panels from Dick Smith. This obviously this larger one right here is a 300 watt, supposedly. This one here is a 200 watt. This one here is 120 watt, my nine year old one. And as you can see, I've got them set up in exactly the same angle. And they've been sitting out in the sun for exactly the same length of time. As you can see, it's a beautiful sunny day in North Queensland. No clouds and there's no shading on this. So we'll just go through each one of these panels here. So you can see that this is the 120 watt panel has the 22 volts open circuit, 7.5 amps open circuit, which equals roughly 120 watts. Then if you look at the Rich Solar, you can see the 120 uh, watt one has a open circuit of 21 volts and 12.22 amps, which is a 200 uh, watt. Then if we go to the 300 watt, and this is where it gets really crazy because that should be, if that's a 12 amp one, this should be around the 20 amps being 300 watts, but it only says 28 volts open circuit, which is a weird number, and 9.16 amps, which even those two added, multiply together, don't even give you, only just give you 200 watts. So something's going on here. But anyway, let's measure them and see what we've got. So we start back over here. We start back over here with the 120 and I've got down here on the table I've got a one to measure the amperage one to measure the voltage because obviously I need to keep swapping but it's just quicker to do it this way because obviously you want it to be the same so if we grab the 120 and we measure the amperage and as specified on the piece of paper on the back of it 7.9 amps Let's have a look at the um, voltage on this one over here. 19.2, as specified on the back of the back of the sticker. We move along to the 200 watt one, do the exact same exercise. So we should get better better amperage out of this one, being almost twice the power. 7.97, exactly the same. It's a bit weird. Anyway, let's go to the voltage which should be for a 12 volt system, about 20 to 19 volts, open circuit, 19.8. So as promised, it's got the voltage for a 12 volt system, but it's definitely got the amperage. We just quickly check that amperage again, just to show you. It should have been double, it should be more into the 12 amps, because we've got peak sun, 7.9, so nowhere near it. Okay, so if we go to the last one, now the interesting thing with the 300 watt one, is that I shouldn't really be plugging this in because this is only 10 amps. This should be giving me, as you can see over this one, that was about eight amps, around seven to eight amps. And that was about seven or eight amps, so that's 120. So if I was going to 300, it should be three times that one, two times this one. So we should be looking somewhere around the 16 to 20 amps. Shouldn't be plugging into this, but let's check the voltage first. And the voltage is reading on here. Should be around the 20 for a 12 volt system. 21.7, so it's around the 21.7, which is for a 12 volt system. 21 to 19. Now technically, you should not be able to plug this in to a 30 watt solar panel. But I will plug it in. And we'll read the amperage on here. Only 8.42 amps. That's pretty bad. It, it should be around 20 amps, at least. Fortunately, we're nowhere near that.